thanks for joining me for part four of the Curious Turtle mini series of Achieving the Film Look. In this exercise, we are going to be looking at grain. Now, grain is probably the single most important thing that we're going to be looking at apart from color, because this really is the um, some of the heart and soul of the film look. Now, for the most part, everyone's shooting digitally now, unless you've got serious budget, you're not going to be shooting on film. Now, it's really odd, but some of the, the main complaints I hear about, you know, the, the high end digital cameras is that they are just too sharp. The images they produce are just super clean and super perfect. So we spend a fortune on the best cameras, on huge TVs to show them on, and yet everything's just looking too good, too nice. So what we're doing with um, adding grain is we're trying to add a little bit of that feeling of, of analog film going back in. So uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at adding, adding grain in. And the, the first thing I'm going to do is add a solid object or solid color in here. It doesn't really matter what hue it is, so long as the saturation is at zero and the brightness is at 50%. So we get a nice gray solid here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some effects to this gray solid. Now, the, the simplest thing that we can do is just come into our noise and we can just add noise here. We'll just turn this noise up. Zoom in a little bit, takes to 100%, takes to full, because that's the only way we can really see this without any interpolation. And let's set our blending mode here to overlay. And this is the reason we chose a 50% gray solid, because when we put anything to overlay now, anything that is exactly 50% gray is not going to affect the image underneath. So what we're seeing here is we're just seeing the, uh, the subtle variations going on uh, because of the noise that we've added. Now, hopefully you can see this noise throughout all the, uh, the levels of compression that have gone on to, uh, to get this uh, video tutorial over to you. But let's, if I pause this here and turn on my amount of noise to an unusable level, up to, uh, up to 28 there, and we can just see, we'll look at the individual color channels. We can just see the before and after, of just that noise now coming in and wrecking our little image or adding yeah, noise and variation to our image here. Now the, the noise technique that we've got here is, is all very well and good. It's not proper film grain and it doesn't look like proper film grain, but you know, it does, it does add a little bit of, of something to, to an image. Uh, we've also got the add grain here, which is a bit more, a bit more interesting. Um, and we do have certain, let's take this to final output. We do have certain um, little film stocks that uh, After Effects has, or that Adobe have uh, have worked out for us. That, that's quite cool. Um, the only problem with the add grain filter is it is quite processor intensive. So the results do take a, uh, a while to, uh, to process out. Uh, the results are better for it, but you are going to be waiting a long time. Sort of a very fine, fine grain that we've got going on there. Now, another way of doing it, let's just, uh, we'll just call this one grain. Another way we've do, got, got going on, let's just uh, add a new, let's just add a new uh, solid layer. 50% gray again, we will call this one filmy grain. And we're just gonna have a look at our effects and presets. And in Film Wash Volume 4, we have a little extra called filmy grain. Just drag this over the top here. And again, with all the Film Wash effects, if it's got an asterisk next to it, it's a control that we should be playing with. If it doesn't, then we don't have to. So if we want color noise, I'll check that box up there. That'll give us a bit of color noise. We want a, uh, a lot of grain, as in lots of individual bits of grain. I'll add that one in there. Grain strength. I can add that one up there as well. Maybe I'll set this to uh, overlay again as well. 
See, my grain strength is way high, way, way, way too high. Again, this is a, often a case of less is more. You want to add a little bit of uh, excitement to the image, but you don't want to destroy the image. Keep this at 15 so you can see this looks quite quite good in this particular example. And let's take a look at the uh, the green channel here. Look at the before. Look at the after. So you can see it is adding a bit of grain into those areas. It's not looking like the noise. Let's take a screenshot of the noise. So the noise you can see is very fine with the filmy grain here, it's a bit more grainy, a bit more natural. But unlike the, uh, let's just uh, set this processing out, do a little RAM preview. Uh, unlike the other add grain filter that we had a look at before, this is much faster to render out. And it gives a nice little effect. We do have a fast grain filter in volume three and in volume four, but uh, I like the filmy grain a bit more. You don't pay that much more rendering time for it. Uh, it just looks a lot better. Now, what's better than this software grain? How about grain that's taken from real film? That's gonna be cool. So what I've got with Thumb Film Wash Volume 5, what you also get free is Film Wash Film Grain. So this is a series of six bits of grain footage. If I uh, take a look at this, they're each, and they're each 10 seconds long. Uh, if I come to my interpret footage here, let's go to main. We can set this up to be any frame rate that you happen to be working with. Some of these are conformed to 25 frames a second. Some are conformed to 23.976. You can change it in the interpret footage here to whatever your version is. And we can also loop it however many times we need to. So hit okay on that. And then if you you've wanna set your project up on one, you then remember the interpretation on one piece of footage or one piece of grain and then you can just come into interpret footage and go apply interpretation to the other ones. So now, if I come in, we'll try a medium here so we can see this a bit better. Bring that over the top. Set this to overlay here. We've now got some realistic film grain going over the top of our image. And the great thing about it, you're not paying a huge rendering cost for it because it's just another layer of footage you've got going over the top. And you can see that's adding a nice little bit, and quite a bit in the blue there, it's adding quite a nice little bit of, uh, of grain to our image without paying that render cost. Let's look at our next clip here. This is the original footage. I've added a couple of film wash uh, color effects over the top. Just render this out so you can see it without the grain. It's looking cool. Let's add, if we wanted to add something like a bit of grain that is just going to add a bit of interest into the image without affecting it too much, the ultra fine is a very good choice. Set that to overlay. And let's just split that. And let's just uh, split that layer there, just delete half of it and round preview the rest. So we can see very clearly now the bits where it goes from having the grain on to having the grain off. Might not be as clear once everything's gone through compression, but let's, uh, let's uh, add in Maybe a bit of heavy grain on this, or maybe even heavy fine. Let's bring it over the top. Split our layer again there. Set that one to overlay. Let 
make sure we're matching up. So with grain, without grain, with grain, without grain. And of course we can use the opacity just to mix this back, knock this back a little bit so we get a hint of what's going on without completely overpowering the image. And again, because these are just video layers, they don't add a lot to the render process. So this is a really cool and fast way of just uh, of adding grain at the last little second. Boom. And without grain. So it just it just gives another little little feel to it absolutely love it it's one of the it's you know it's almost the the heart of the film look is uh, is the grain there cool in the final part of this little mini series we're going to be taking that grain idea one step further we're going to look at grime and how we can start to mess the image up a little bit more so join me in part five of achieving the film look 